I beat the holy hell out of these players. Jay, what is... Oh my god, this story does not make any s You embarrassed me! I won! I won the tournament! This is it. This is the end. This is the last Volta story mode video that is going up on this channel, at least for FIFA 20. I wanted to get through the end of this story, and that's what we're going to do in this episode. I don't care if the entire episode is just cutscenes to get to the end of the story. We are getting to the end of this thing in this episode. I'm ready to move on to other types of content that we want to make. So let's just get into it. We're going to Buenos Aires for the World Championships. Let's do it. Right at this point, I just, I just want to get through this tournament. <laughs> I just, I'm getting so tired of this game. There you go, Cherry! This is the first team I've played with a goalie other than Sid. So that's cool. Some variety. It's sad, at the beginning of the series, I really did enjoy playing this game. Like the actual, like I, the the story was the story was nothing, you know. But the story it was it was irrelevant. I just I, I liked the actual gameplay, you know, and I said that. But now the story has become so bad that it's actively ruining my enjoyment of the game itself. I feel like I'm gonna lose. Like this just this has the feeling of a typical FIFA game where you've been dominating the CPU, their goalie makes all kinds of saves, and then you just lose at the end. Oh my god, what? What? What is this? He does ta- oh my. Welcome to Volta. This is just all within the game mode itself for now. Just slot it home. This is the only way I can score at this point. This goal is going to save everything. I'm already at a disadvantage because Sid, for me, doesn't save a damn thing. What was that? The goalie just did that. Can someone explain? Come on, Vitrip. Put it on net, son. Oh, what a touch. Now slot it home, Vitrip. Thank you. That's what we need. That's the, that's the kind of attacking football we need to see right now. Come on. That's definitely not mine, but I'll take it. I see you. I see you making that run. Great touch. Yep, play it across. Vitra, and it's safe. And Vitra, and it's... Oh! Need one more to ice this game. One minute left. Gotta have the closer. Hell yeah, I see you. Right there. Oh. I see you, pal. Ajax. That's what I'm looking for. Why is Ajax always playing in defense? I have a defender for that. Yeah, make that run, Ajax. I'm not sure what that was. But whatever. We'll take it. We'll take the time wasting. Hey, Sid made a save. She's not gonna make another one, so I better not let him get another shot. Beautiful block. What was that? The skill movie just had a big touch. I've been done. There you go, Jerry. Oh no! You gotta be kidding me! Why does the announcer go from English to Spanish? Oh, Ajax slotted home to end proceedings. I believe this is a first round win. We're in the round of 64. There's no way every single game gets shown. Oh my god. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to skip. That's it. I'm going to skip uh, probably all the way to the semifinal. I mean, there's no reason to see every single game. And the reality is, 
most Volta games are, are just kind of similar to each other in the way that they're constructed in, in certain tournaments. So, unless there's a cutscene, I'm just going to skip ahead to the semifinals in terms of this video. Because, probably like you guys, I am getting very, very tired of the sameness of everything that we're doing. Yeah, not really. Most people didn't then know us. Sound <laughs> like we were some kind of big name. You know what I do, Randy. <laughs> My company, you know, and associates represent some of the top players in the game. She straight up sounds like a bond bill. Professionalism in these rounds. Professionalism. <laughs> With the exception of a little outburst in New York. What? This tournament could be the springboard for your career. A lot of pro club scouts out there looking for the next one. They're looking at street football. Think about it. Why is she the I I don't know why I question the story anymore, to be honest. I think she wants to sign it. Are you gonna do it? I don't know. Maybe. I guess that's it then. No, I you gotta put yourself first. Can't let your street team get away with pro career. Uh, I don't even sign anything. Will. Everybody fails. Come on, Sid. I care zero about what happened in that cutscene. God, just get me to the semis. Cutscene right before the semis. You said still pissed for no reason at all. Yeah. Now she's all cool. I care very little about what's happening here. Could you find a more obnoxious way to explain this, please? So don't care. <laughs> this, this story sucks. Oh god. She didn't do anything. You know that. What that means to me. Story sucks. <laughs> God, let's just get this over with with some eyes. Why do they make this tournament so long? It's 
That's really annoying. I've been playing, uh, I've been playing WWE 2K, uh, so that, you know, we can get ready for, uh, Universe Mode coming out. So I've been playing the My Career, uh, just so we can unlock everything. And it has its issues, you know, and certainly the game, like, personally, if you've been following 2K and WWE 2K at all, you know that it's been just completely broken for a lot of people. For me, I have not had those same issues on playing on PC, so I've not had those same issues. Um, but as far as the story concern is concerned, is it perfect? No. No, it's not perfect. But it's at least passable. It doesn't make me actively hate the actions that I'm taking. And in fact, in some, in some, okay, in some uh, cases, it's it's much more than passable. In fact, to be honest with you, the storytelling at some points there is better than the actual storytelling in WWE at times. So, you know, if that if that tells you anything, like the the two main characters are a bit insufferable. They're a bit annoying, but they also. You know they have they have good qualities as well, so I'm not so much concerned with that. And you know the 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 wrestlers that voice you know their own characters in the game are really really good. So all of that makes for at least a compelling you know story. I mean, it, well at the very least it makes for uh, a story that I don't really have to care about. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I still enjoy the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. The story keeps me engaged enough. That's really what it's for. Volta, on the other hand, not only is the story not keeping me engaged in what's going on, it's actively hurting my enjoyment of the actual gameplay itself. That, if you remember from, you know, the first episode or two of this series, I said that the gameplay is the only thing that's really keeping me involved it's, it's the only, it was the only thing that was even keeping me playing. Like, to be honest, if I didn't really enjoy the gameplay, um, I would have, uh, I would have stopped this. I probably wouldn't have done the series at all. But, by now, I just, I want to finish it so we can get a conclusion to the series. I'd hate to leave it, I'd, I'd hate to leave it hanging, but, at this point, the story is so bad that I'm just not enjoying the moment, the moment gameplay at all. And that's really sad, because I think they've done something really good here as far as the gameplay is concerned, as far as the visuals and the culture is concerned. Like, it just would have been so easy to do this, at least to the point where it's average, where it's not getting in its own way. It would have been so easy, and they just, they haven't done it, so. I don't want to go, I don't want to go through that again, I just want to finish this. We've had a decent start so far. This is a lineup that's really working for us right now. Yeah, alright. You know what, the CPU does it all the time, so that's what we're gonna go with. All told, um, if you take out all the issues that I was having initially on the Xbox, um, if you guys remember I was having all kinds of server issues and it was kicking me out and whatever else, if you take out all of that, I've probably put in 15 hours or so <clears throat> into the story, and I really don't want to put any more so... <laughs> Uh, FIFA to me will now just be for fun. I might play a little ultimate team on the side, whatever. Um, but I am super excited about a little, uh, about a universe mode. I'm really, really excited about doing that. So keep an eye out for that. That's coming in a couple weeks. I gotta play, I gotta play through the entire career, make sure that I've unlocked everything, and then, uh, you know, I gotta, I gotta prepare. It's gonna be, it's gonna be high quality stuff. It's not just gonna be me playing through a random collection of matches. High production value, you could say. But we gotta get through this first. It says something about how disengaged I am with the story that I'd rather talk about a video series that I'm going to make in the next couple weeks than actually talk about what's going on in this game right now. I should probably talk about the game, there's a minute left. Up by three. I'm hoping the Legends will be at least a little tougher. Now, I mean, these games are difficult. It's not like I'm blazing through them, but I'm just hoping the I'm hoping the legends will will approach the game differently. Let's put it that way. Oh, that was a great save. 
All four of my goals have come off rebounds like that. Again, the CPU does it all the time, so I don't really care. This is becoming an absolutely lethal combination here. I'm sorry that Big T had to get forced out of the team for Jerry Maguire, but that's what we had to do. Yep, there it is. Ajax, get there. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Just took the touch straight by the keeper. Beautiful stuff. Take that bow, Ajax. I think it's safe to say this game has been put away. 5-0 in the semis. Sending a message to the street legends, and they'll probably be called J10. Because Jay Zeno disowned us. Doesn't want us to be called J10 anymore. So his team will probably be called J10. Or the street legends. Oh, they scored. I do want to be clear that there are some, some good points to it as well. I don't just completely hate it. I completely hate the story, but <laughs> that's not the only thing. Give it up for Team J10. So what? Are they J10 or not? The dark horses of this year's competition. The team no one saw coming. Sounds like a 1960s movie trailer. In a world where there's a team you didn't see coming. So now we hate Jay. If they had actually had this team lose like in the second round, I I would have uh, I would have respected it. What the hell? They want me to have this feeling like, oh, Revy is, is, you know, there's some kind of deep emotional thing here. So they just they went through that cutscene and now they're making me reload into the game where they have the entrances again. Oh my god. Yeah, they want, they're, they're like, there's some emotional trauma in Revy's life. And Jay doesn't know that. But, like, I could not give less of a shit about that. So, I don't care whether or not Jay knows it. All I know is Jay's, ah, uh, Jay's character, he goes from being really proud, being really proud of us and, and what we're doing, to suddenly he absolutely hates us because we make YouTube videos. He's like the, he's like the get off my lawn guy, except he looks like he's 35. Like, what the hell? I'm done, I don't wanna... I'm sure, I'm sure there'll be a mini rant for the final cutscene, because it'll probably be... Jay realizes that we're street means more to us than, than he thought we did, than he thought it did, and, and he was wrong, and let's reform the team. I'm open to that not being the case. I will respect it if they try to not do that. Although, if this story has trained me to believe anything, it's that if they don't do that, it'll be because they've actually done the whatever the stupidest ending you could possibly imagine is. The other thing is, all of these legends are attackers. So they've kind of painted themselves into a corner here. Because every single time you're playing a legend that's an attacker, and I think Rocky's a midfielder, maybe? But now you have to put a defender in, and you have to put a keeper in, and we haven't played any of those. Like, it would have been cool if we would have played, like, a legendary keeper, or something like that. But except, you know, Basically, everything we did in the story was 3v3. It was all rush. I think we did one thing that was five, that was actual futsal. Great job, Sid. The rest of it was like, was 3v3 and 4v4 rush, pretty much. Mostly 3v3. They're more likely to do skill passes than they are in normal full field matches in FIFA. Which is cool. It does lead to some really cool moments, like in a game, I think it was the quarterfinals where uh, Ajax took the ball all the way to the end line, the goalie came out, and he did a Rabona 
cross over the goalie's outstretched hand to Vitrup, who then volleyed in. That moment was really cool. You know, like that's that's what I play street for, for moments like that. They're too far and few between. Or, or uh, they're, yeah, they're too few and far between, unfortunately. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that one's on me. That one is completely on me. That's 100% on me right there. Yeah, so the moments, like I said, the moments happen, and I do appreciate that. So I think if people, people saying this feels like, it feels exactly like full field, you're just playing on a smaller field with fewer players, I definitely disagree with that. There are times where it feels like it's street football. There you go, Ajax. Ah. Kotaro turns out is a fantastic keeper. That's golden goal. We get the ball first. Vitra! Oh, what a save, Kotaro. Now I'm nervous. Anytime they're anytime they're attacking, I get nervous. No! Let's play it to McGuire. Oh jeez. I'm straight up gonna have to play through this again. I'm gonna have to play through this whole tournament again, alright. Yeah, okay, now I feel like... I like that there's a different ending. I wanted to win, though, just because... Not because I care about the characters, but because Jay annoys me. He annoys me so much, I hate to see his virtual self happy. Vinicius is the only bright spot in terms of characters in this game. Like, Venetius is a, is a really good character, and I think his voice acting is really solid. Well done. I shouldn't have lost that game, though. The only two characters that have gotten any reaction out of me at this point are Venetius and Jay. And it's a good. It was a good reason for Venetius. I think it's because it works. And for Jay, it's just because I absolutely hate what they've done with the character. Uh, what? It is making me play through this again. I actually have to play through this whole thing again. So it gave me the bad cutscene, and then it makes me play through the whole thing anyway. God, all right, you know what? I get, no, 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 we're getting to the end, so I'm skipping everything. I'm gonna skip straight to the final cutscene when I win, because this is this is ridiculous. I'm absolutely done with this game or with this story right now. So we're going to the final cutscene. We're gonna ignore this whole time how we've been playing street ball for like for like three months <laughs> as a team and suddenly we're the best team on earth we're gonna ignore that bit but that's all right what am i supposed to hit him Does Jezinho get nice things now? Because he was being a dick this whole time. Yeah. 
Okay. I don't, I don't have much to say, because this whole time I've been begging for just, like, a typical, you know, campy... Are we recruiting anybody? You know, typical campy sports story. And, no, so why did you give me that option? I guess that's what we got there with the ending, so... Fair enough, I suppose. I can't now go back and say, oh, it's so stereotypical or whatever, because that's what I've been asking for this whole time. Just at least something average. So, fair play. Back in the warehouse. Hey, it's our boys. Hold on, hold on. At least we have all of the models and everything. Like they're all clothed and customized. So we're all cool with Jay now, I guess. Hey. Surprise. You know what? The only time I was ever on time, things didn't go so well. <laughs> what? Yeah. Look, I, I gotta be here for it right now. Yeah. Nice. It's, uh, it's like starting up all over again. Hey, you can hit up me. Make no money. <laughs> Again, another inside joke that apparently the characters get that's never explained to us. Is the joke that Rev's always late because it's literally happened once in this entire mode. Oh, thank God. Ah. Oh. Okay, um... Well, uh, it's still ridiculous that Jay's character just went from extreme to extreme to extreme for no reason at all, but again, I guess I can't really complain, because I was, I was begging uh, to have at least something average. So we can unlock Legends? Looking to run it back? Oh, I would love to do that. All of those things I said are not things that I would like to do in any form or fashion. Oh my god. Well, this is the end of the series, ladies and gentlemen. Volta story is complete. Uh, next up, as far as the gaming side goes, it's all about WWE Universe Mode. So that's coming. Look out for that. And of course, more sports news videos and everything else coming up. And if you want to be a part of that, subscribe to General Mission Sports for all of our content now and in the future. Thank you so much for sticking with us through this whole series. We'll see you next time.